So today I'll talk about a Kia with the P0171 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Kia P0171 code? Well, it's a fuel trim system two lean bank one. And what does this mean? Well, basically the onboard computer is seeing a problem with the air fuel ratio mixture going into the engine. Mainly it's seeing too much oxygen and not enough fuel. So it's throwing out this error code. And this code can be a little bit problematic sometimes since it could be caused by a few different things, but I'm gonna go over each thing and show you how you go about troubleshooting this. And a lot of people, they automatically jump to the oxygen sensor, mainly the upstream bank one oxygen sensor since this is what triggers it and this is what tells the onboard computer that there's an issue and this sensor while it could be bad all it's doing is reporting how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion and so there might not be anything wrong with that sensor and it could be caused by something else and so while that sensor could be bad, it's possible that it's good. So you're going to have to troubleshoot what the problem is. And some possible causes of this, well, it could be a failing mass airflow sensor. It could be a clogged fuel filter. It could be a bad fuel pressure regulator. It could be a weak or failing fuel pump. It could be a vacuum leak. It could be a bad oxygen sensor and possibly a bad injector. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the MAF sensor and check it out. And the mass sensor or the mass airflow sensor is located right at the air box. And what it does is just tells the onboard computer how much oxygen is going into the engine. And it does this by measuring the airflow rushing past it. The air comes into this air box and goes into the intake and goes right past the mass airflow sensor. And if there's a problem with the mass sensor, then the onboard computer is just going to get bad data and it's going to mess everything up. So first thing to do is go check this out. There's different ways you can go about testing it. One of the ways I do it is that I use a OBD2 scan tool. Anyone at work, even low cost ones, just go to live data and with the key in the on position but the engine off look at the math sensor reading under live data and see if it has any reading at all because there's no airflow going past it when the engine's off and so if it's jumping around like two three five volts or something like that then you know there's an issue with it you can also look up what your engine specifications are for the mass airflow sensor and start the engine and see if that matches but if the engine's off there shouldn't be no air flowing past that mass airflow sensor so if it is like really high or really low or something really weird reading then there's probably a problem with it quite often these sensors don't go bad they just need to be cleaned up the special cleaner for these called mass airflow sensor sensor cleaner that you can use to clean them up if it is dirty but first thing to go and check is going to be the mass airflow sensor and the next thing to go and check is going to be a fuel related problem and the main way you do this is going to be with fuel pressure and so while you could go through each one of the components in the fuel delivery system the quickest way is to read the fuel pressure at the fuel rail but basically you can get these at any automotive store they'll rent them out to you and if you could read the pressure at the fuel rail and look up what your engine is rated for then it'll quickly tell you if it's a fuel problem because the next thing that you're going to be looking for is going to be if there's a fuel pump issue or there's a problem with the fuel filter the fuel pressure regulator or there's just some problem inside the line and while you could go to each one of these different components you could go and and test or replace the fuel pump and the fuel filter. The easiest way to quickly check this is to do a fuel pressure test. Every vehicle is a little different on how you can go about doing a fuel pressure test. Usually there's a connector port on the fuel rail, but again, it's gonna vary. You might have to look that up. But the next thing to go and do is gonna be to check out the fuel delivery, which includes the fuel pump, the fuel filter, possibly the fuel pressure regulator, and anything blocking the lines from the gas tank up to the engine. And so if you check that all out, that all looks good. Then the next thing to go and check for is gonna be a vacuum leak. And there's a few different ways you go about testing for a vacuum leak. The way I usually do it is with the smoke machine. And basically what you do is you just feed smoke into the engine and wherever the smoke comes out, there's a vacuum leak. There's some low cost smoke machines on Amazon or eBay you could buy, or there's some homemade DIY type units that you could do. There's some YouTube videos on that. You can make those for like less than five, ten dollars But there's different ways you go about testing for a vacuum leak. And there's some good YouTube videos on that. But basically you wanna go around the whole engine and check to see if there's a vacuum leak anywhere. Because a vacuum leak can cause this problem. And so the next thing to do, go check for a vacuum leak. And so if you've done all that, you check the MAF sensor, that's all good. The fuel pressure is good. There's no vacuum leaks or anything like that. Then the next thing to go and check is gonna be the oxygen sensor and mainly the bank one upstream oxygen sensor. It's always a good idea to go get a diagram of the oxygen sensors on your particular engine. For example, here's a 2005 Kia Sportage. And as you can see, bank one, sensor one is right here. That was sensor one would be the upstream oxygen sensor. And so that would be the one that's reporting this issue to the onboard computer. And that would be the one to go and check out. You can't test that sensor if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing the sensor. But the next thing to go and check out is going to be that bank one, sensor one, upstream oxygen sensor. And so if you've got to check that all out, you checked out everything. There's good fuel delivery. There's no problem with that mass airflow sensor. 
the oxygen sensor tests good, there's no vacuum leaks or anything like that, then very likely there's an issue with the fuel injector on bank one. There's different ways you go about testing or checking the fuel injectors to see if they're bad or if they're good. But very likely if you checked everything else out and there's no issues anywhere else, then very likely there is a problem with the fuel injector on bank one. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give an overview of how you go about fixing a Kia with the P0171 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.